What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video we have some great news to discuss about iOS 11.4 and 11.4.x jailbreaking and iOS 12. Some important announcements have been made. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their program Rayboot which helps you fix iOS 12 and iOS 11.x issues with your device. You can enter in recovery mode, exit recovery mode or fix your iPhone if it has any of the screens in here and it's stuck. Check them out in the link below. Anyways, the first story is coming from Yumang. He is a part of the Electro team. He worked on the remount for the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak with the Electra and he posted just a few hours ago, quote, status on my vulnerabilities in a potential iOS 12.x jailbreak. If you remember, he has some kernel vulnerabilities that he is exploiting. Quote, bugs are alive and well and I'm able to successfully jailbreak my A11 and A10 devices. Can't say about the new ones, which is A12, since they aren't available in India yet. I'm looking at the release timeline for iOS 12.1. He also followed it up with this, quote, but there's no reason to upgrade your devices just yet if you're already jailbroken or would rather stay on iOS 11. Also, in other news, I still work on Libertas occasionally, but I'm planning to hand it to someone more dedicated to Twig development. So what he pretty much says in here is that he's also going to continue the development, although he will pass it out to a different developer for the Libertas, which is a um, jailbreak detection removal or a jailbreak detection bypass for various applications. It has been released in beta, but it's not very effective for the moment. Anyways, it's still being worked on. And he also talks about his vulnerabilities in here that he has. If you remember a few weeks ago, he announced that he has kernel vulnerabilities for the iOS 12. And at that point in time, iOS 12 was in beta. So there was the risk that the final version would patch those vulnerabilities. Apparently, the vulnerabilities were not patched and they still work with iOS 12. So that's definitely great. We might see a release very soon for these vulnerabilities. At the same time, for the iOS 11.4 users, there are some good news. A few days ago, Brandon Azad, a security researcher, has posted this, quote, iOS full user space compromised via malicious crashing. Versions up to 11.4 are vulnerable, but the exploit only targets 11.2.6. The write-up also discloses some new mitigation bypasses. And he also posted a link to this write-up in here. If you're interested in iOS security, you can definitely take a look. But for those of you running iOS 11.4 and waiting for a jailbreak, there is definitely a chance and this exploit apparently works on 11.4, but has to be pretty much made to work on that because it targets 11.2.6 for the moment, as probably that was the um, device Brandon had for testing. Anyways, the situation looks quite good for the 11.4 as well. And if you remember, iOS 11.4.1 has upcoming vulnerabilities and exploits from Jan Beer. So both iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 are quite fine for jailbreaking at this point iOS 12 is also looking very good, has been jailbroken and tethered but privately, and now we're going to get some vulnerabilities and some exploits from UMAG, which may of course help jailbreaking, so definitely a good thing. If you take a look in here, the iOS 12 is signed, but also 11.4.1. So if you want to upgrade to 11.4.1, you can, although I do not recommend. And if you also want to upgrade to 12, you can, though I do not recommend if you're already jailbroken. The best move you can make for the moment if you're already jailbroken is to stay on the version you are on, so do not update. But if you want to update, those two are available for the moment. However, one thing you should do is to save your blobs for both iOS 11.4.1 and for the iOS 12. And you can do that by using TSS Saver in here. I made a video on how to do that, so go ahead and check it out in the description down below. You do not have to update to 11.4.1 or to 12 in order to save your blobs. You can definitely keep your jailbreak and have the blobs saved. But what these blobs do, they pretty much contain the signatures necessary for downgrading in the future. So if you want to downgrade or upgrade in the future to 11.4.1 or to 12 after the signing window is closed, you will still be able to do so in certain conditions if you have the blobs saved. If you do not have them, no matter what, you will not be able to downgrade or upgrade. So yeah, it's a good idea to go ahead and save them right now, especially since all these versions, 11.4, 11.4.1 and 12, seem to be vulnerable as hell and they would definitely make good candidates for jailbreaking. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Wondershare. They currently have a contest where you can win the new iPhone XR. All you have to do is to navigate to the link in the description down below, click here on contest number three and select which iPhone do you like from the new models presented 
this year and you will enter their giveaway and if you're lucky you will win the new iPhone 10R. Good luck and thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow and until the next time do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.